Hello oh. Before we begin the video, let's discuss Cloud Foundation. Cloud Foundation is the premier online training platform to help individuals and organizations gain knowledge and skills in the ever-growing cloud computing industry. So here the only difference is that here in the actions you cannot able to find the options. That is termination and everything. So that can be only coming when you are going with the add the employee functionality. But otherwise in this, when you are going with the UDF for creating a user, these options will not be available. Okay. Any questions? Any queries? How we have created the user in the system? Is this one way to hire? I mean upload that. This is the way where, if employee central is not implemented and you want to migrate the data from a non-SAP system to the SAP system, then we will be using this file. UDF file. Okay. So there is no dependency on the employees and this is a fight which is for the success factor. Okay. So if customer is implementing or not implementing employees and still we can migrate the data from a non, from a legacy system to the SAP success factor system. But so generally this file is used for the bulk data. First of all, Otherwise, for creating some users, you can go and create the user with the help of UDF also, even for the inactivation for inactive. For making a user inactive also, you will be using this file. Okay. Got it okay. So this is one way of going and creating the record that is UDF. Second method and the fourth method we will start when we go with the employees and third method, that is, the provision. Let's go into the provisioning part. We don't have the access, but setting up of the provisioning, access, setting up of the provisioning, how we are going and setting up the provisioning. So had I told you earlier the process, how you are getting this user ID, User ID that part you have already shown. You told you the process. Yes. Okay. So if I have told you, then I will directly take you into the screenshot. So just give me a moment. I will open the screenshot. So when you, when you receive the, how you are applying for the provisioning access that steps I am just sharing to you. Now you have a user ID, you are certified and after that, once you get the credential from the customer, how you are applying for the provisioning access that I am showing to you. So is my Word document visible? No. So now you can see here. There is a process how you are applying for the vertical provisioning access. So the first thing is that you should be certified. The thing is that you should get an approval me. So from the customer. So the approval mail specifies what you call all the information like your company name, company ID, data center number. Okay. The who are the approvals involved into? So all the details will be there in a table. It is a table format which will be. We will be getting a sort of approval. 
and that sort of approval mail. Once we are receiving and once you are having issues that I do, you are certified, then you will be logging into the SCM. Cloud Operation, this one. www.scm Cloud Operation So when you click on the same cloud operation, so when you click on the same cloud operation, you can able to go and see the username and the password. So the username is nothing but the S user ID and the password is the password which you already reset, the password. Okay. So that is something which we need to log in once you log in into SCM. Cloud operation. It will take you into the home page. And from there you have to fill the form and you have to upload the copy of your approval mail and your certification and you have to submit it. Once you submit it, for all the three environment, that is, development, review and for the production, for all the three environments. We will be submitting it separately to SAP. After 5 working days we will be receiving the access confirmation from success factor, we'll be receiving a mail and once we receive an email, then in that email there will be a link will be there. Okay. And in the once you click on that link it will redirect to the login and the password and we need to mention the S user ID and the password, same as you said in the password. Whichever link, it is a development link, or it is a preview link, or it is a production link. Okay. So any link which you are entering, that link you have to mention the S user ID and the password. It will be redirecting to the page. Okay. Any questions here? Before going into the another step. No. Now I will just falling down. I'm just falling down. Now this is the step which, after logging into SEM, Cloud Operation page, it will the home page which you are getting. Okay. This is the home page which you are getting. And this home page which you are getting. Okay. Home page which you are getting there. You have to go to the operation request. You will see request form and request status. OK. And click on the request form. When you click on the request form, you will be getting a pop-up window and in the pop-up window you will be getting customer instant access request. You have to click on the customer instant access request. Once you click on the customer instant access request, it will be take. It will take you into this particular page. Okay, it will take you into this particular page where you need to fill the request ID, the data center, the status. Okay. And then. Then when you scroll down. Okay. When you scroll down, you will be seeing the customer name extended go live date, which you are seeing here in the form. Okay. The company ID will be there. Data center location, all the details will be there. 
So all the details from where you will be filling all these details will be filling all these details from from the approval mail which we have received. So that approval mail will be having all the information and from there all the information will be filling here after filling when we scroll down. You find this option where we need to select to which module you are certified. So, so for that you need to select that particular certification, particular module which you are certified. So after selecting that module, then the consultant's name. The consultant's name and the consultant's email address will be automatically coming. So why it is automatically coming? Because by default it is linked with your issue, as you are long been with your issues ready. So that is the reason the consultant name and the email ID will be showing. Okay. Then you have a region and the location. So region is nothing at the consultant's region and the location, where, from which location, you are working. And we need to attach the approval attachment and the copy of your certification and you have to submit it. This process. We have to do it with the three times separately. First for the development submitted. Then again come back, fill the form. Fill all the details for the test. Another, that is So for all the three environments, you have to submit it separately. And within four to five working days you will be getting the what you call a mail communication from SAP that this has been approved and you can able to access it. And finally do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.